Hi, my name is Jordan with Reiko Rents, and today I'm going to show you how to download the data from your noise pros right here and uh, your edge dosimeters. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to do uh, data download on your noise dosimeters. So we're going to go ahead and open up the DMS software. Now we've got everything plugged in. We've got the USB going from the computer to our edge dock. We've got the edge turned on. You want to make sure that it's turned on when you're doing this. And we want to make sure it shows up in DMS. So we're doing a data download. We're going to go to the download page. OK. Now let's select the correct family. Over here in this tab, we've got our edges. And we're using an edge 5. Again, you can see this pop up here. Now, if one of the desired units isn't showing up, again, you can just unplug everything, reseat your edge, hit the refresh button, make sure everything is there, and then make sure everything is checked uh, that you want to download the data from. So now we're going to open up this download menu here. And I like to have this box checked. It takes us right to the data finder when the data is done downloading. Um, if you don't have that box checked, you'll find the data finder tab right here. So we've got our edge. Let's go ahead and download the data. So we've got the progress here. You can see it's downloading. Bam. Already done real quick. And then it's going to ask if you want to clear the memory. I don't feel like it. And here's our study. I just did this sitting in the room. It's one minute real quick, so there's not much data to interpret here. But all you need to do to take a look at it is right-click that and then select Analyze. Now, we use the default layout. Uh, the template here gets us a summary data panel and a log data chart for the virtual dosimeters. So this is our panel layout view, and as you can see, you can add panels here. You can work with your data however you'd like to within DMS. Now what we like to do, we like to get a just a good simple layout of the data. So you're going to click the report view down here. And that's going to get you a real simple layout. And uh, this is something you can put in a PDF format, something that's good to you know send over to a to a coworker or you know, somebody who who needs to see um, this information to see if you're complying with the regulations. But once you get this, you know, you can take a look at it. And if you want to print it out, just go ahead and print it. If you want to save it, go ahead and click the Save As. Save it, you know, give it a title, whatever you'd like, and then click Save. And it'll save. I recommend, you know, maybe to the desktop or maybe you've got a folder in your documents where you like to have this stuff. Uh, just save it to wherever is best for you. And that's the data download for edges. So now let's go back. I'll go ahead and unplug my edge. You can see that go away. Actually didn't, but if I click refresh, there it is, it's gone. So now for the noise pros, again, I've got my noise pro turned on here. So let's plug in the IR reader. Again, we're still in the download tab here. Let's select the correct family. So we've got a noise pro, a noise pro DLX. We'll scroll down, hop back into that download page. Okay, so now it's recognizing it. You can see it's listening. It says to place the noise pro in front of the infrared pod and press the ID button. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Let's hit COM and then the ID button. And you can see the serial number pops up. It is pending, so it's ready to download the data. So I'm going to click download. It says unable to wake the device. Let's give it one more shot here. Click the ID button, click download. 
Oh, okay, now it wants to work. So again, I just hit that ID button, click download, and I'm not gonna touch this Noise Pro. I wanna make sure that this finishes up. You can tell this is kind of a long process with the Noise Pros, and uh, if you bump it, if you interrupt this download in any way, typically it'll you know, just kind of clear everything and you'll have to restart that download. So I'm gonna let it sit still, and pretty much once that's done, that's it. We'll do the same thing that we did with the Edge. Uh, just open up that report view so you've got a good PDF layout of your data. And then you can send that to somebody else, save it for your own files, do whatever you got to do with it. All right, and we're done. So now you can see it takes us to the data finder. Looks like there was a lot on this Noise Pro. So for each of these reports, you'll have to just right click and analyze if you want all this data. And again, we've got our panel layout view. Looks like we get a little bit more here. Got the log data chart. And that's everything you're gonna get with the Noise Pro. So again, we'll click that report view, get a nice PDF. And you could either print it or save it. And that's the data download for the Noise Pro. Um, if you want to do multiples of those, uh, you know, with the edges, you can just check them all and click the download button. With the Noise Pros, you need to do each one individually because you can only have one essentially plugged in at once. But yeah, that's it. If anybody has any questions or uh, having trouble with this stuff, just give us a call here at Rayco Rents and we'll be happy to help you. So thanks for watching our video today. Uh, be sure to check out our other YouTube videos and subscribe to our page. For more information, feel free to give us a call. We'd be happy to help you out. Or you can check out our online training center.